the top of the morning to you from Weast Allotments. Uh, today we're going to get the garlic in. The last, well, the, the second lot of garlic. I'll show you a couple of clips of that. Do a couple of potato reveals. And then we'll tidy the, the plot up and then we'll have a look at what we've done at the end of all that. So, further ado, guys, let's crack on as um, Blue Star Dave would We're going to get the board, which is here, behind me. You'll see it in a second. And uh, it's all measured out. And what we do, equal amount of spaces. There we go. And then this. I don't know if you can see, let's see if you can see me here for the start. Of course you can see me. Right, we're going to start putting a few of these garlic in. So, uh, I'll just show you me do a, a one line. Get a few out of the bag. Finger in the ground. Gently drop it in. That's it. All you gotta do. All the time checking to make sure you've got the roots. Yep. Just placing them in the ground, guys. Just below the surface. Not going too deep, neither. Well, guys, we're coming up to the last row now. So. Let's get the last row in. I say thumb in the ground. These are beautiful chitted knees. Just cover them over, go along the line. I reckon about another couple of days they'll start to come through these. Never had any trouble um, chitting garlic. I was done really well with it, as you saw just in the at the beginning there. Last one, nice little chit on it there. You can see that chit. Stone out, we don't want a stone underneath it. Trust me, the hardest one was the last one to put in. So, what we've got here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got 11 rolls, so 11. Oh, god, 11, 11, guys, 120, 121, 122. I'm not, I'm not got me, um. <laughs> me adding up head on today. I think it's 121. So there we go. So we've got 100, another 120. We got 121 um, plus the 132. What we've already put in. So what's that? We've got. Uh, call it now. Well, it's nearly 250, isn't it? So yeah, we've got about 200, 250 uh, cloves of garlic there. The first lot is already up and going. It's about three to about three inches high now. Most of it. So there's one that's struggling to come through, but it's up and running now. So there we go. We've got one bed of garlic. Um, this is all solid white. We'll be putting the Marco in shortly, and um, I say we've still got looking for some jumbo garlic. Thanks to the missus. Um, we, we ate it, <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. So yeah, I'm still looking, I'm just gonna gently just push the soil over some of these because they're not completely buried. And all we've got to watch out for now are the birds. Birds love pulling them out. So there we go, keep these bags. These are the resealable bags that I use from uh, from Asda. Work perfect for chitting your uh, your garlic. But uh, yeah, there we go. 
There's uh, the next lot of garlic in succession. Every two weeks I put another load in. That garlic there needs pushing down. I'll just move it around here. Slightly bit. You only want it so just the very tip sticking out. Well, that's how I do them anyhow. So there we go. Jobs are good one. Uh, so right, we'll put this in with something else. Um, but there we go. There's the garlic. The next lot of garlic all done. Right, guys. Last of the buckets. Oh, I'm down to my last two buckets now. These are me. Last of my King Edwards. I've got one more left after that, and they're South Palmeiras. So, as uh, Blue Star Dave says, let's crack on. <laughs> hmm. That one was a uh, sea potato. Bit of a decent size that. Unfortunately, I took all the tops off him. Um, before, before they had done, a chance to fill out, and that was a, something uh, what was uh, that I couldn't um, not um, avoid uh, because we got blight. It comes to the allotments pretty fast. Hit me, foot, hit me neighbours at the side, and then it just caught my and uh, thought air on the side of safety. We'll take, take them out and get them all out. Just, or better, you know, well, we'll at least we'll take the tops off them. Just making sure we're getting all these blooming tiny ones out. Um, one of my um, subscribers told me, says, uh, when he saw me throwing these small spuds away last week, these, these tiny ones here, uh, he said, what are you doing that for, Mark? Why don't you use them for fishing? Um, I do do a lot of fishing. Um, as you probably all know, I do carp fishing and what have you. But uh, my bent rail is match fishing. And uh, I've been known over the years to use these small spuds to catch some really, really big carp. Um, and they're a great bait. What you do, you boil them and uh, you put them on an air rig and uh, basically, carp can't resist them, and it, you know it's a good way of catching, catching carp. I think we've got all the spuds here now. As I'm just picking through the, the compost, just making sure I get all the bits, all the, the small spuds out. Even the tiniest spud will come up as a plant next year. That there, I don't know if you can see it, just on the tip of my fingers is a spud. That spud will develop into a, a potato. Right, I'm just setting my scales to zero. We want pounds. And uh, we're going to get the bag here. Be happy with three pound. I'm sure there's a few more. Yep, yeah, there is just slightly. Uh, three point, call it three point seven, three point eight. Oh, there you go. Sorry, you can't see that. Three point seven, three point eight. I think that is sort of fluctuating. So it goes. Yeah, it's about. Three and a half, three and a quarter pound, three and three quarter pound there guys. Okay, it goes three and up to ten. So yeah, there we go. It's pounds. So I'm looking kilos. One point six four kilos. I don't know if you can see that. 
So there's about three, three and a half pound of spuds there. That's all right, considering I took all the tops off them um, before it was before it was time to do it. Right. Why not do the very last reveal? This is the last reveal. Well, we've got actually when I say the last reveal, uh, we've got another one. Um, got three more buckets left for Christmas, so we're going to do this one. And these ones, are the I think this is Sarpol Mare. These, I think this is the last of the Sarpol. So I don't know what we're going to get, guys. Now this one was just an experiment. Uh, it was just done in normal, normal compost. Nothing else with them. I mean the spuds look really nice. Nice spud there. A lot of spuds in the bucket. I think there might be about four or five pounds of spuds there, guys. bit of scab on them I've noticed. I say they've been left in the buckets for about about four or five weeks. Seed potato there. There's some decent spuds there. They just keep chucking them in. I don't know these these Sarpo, the Sarpo Mira range um, have done really well this year. Um, I'm, what I'm going to do, um, I can tell you, uh, next year we're going to. I think they do about eight different varieties of um, these these Sarpo. So we're going to probably just do Sarpo Mira's next year. It's about five, six pound there, I think, and counting. Again, you get all these bits out. If you don't get the bits out, you're going to be pulling potatoes out of the ground where you don't want them. A few potatoes gone to mush there, believe it or not. Well, I think that... There's one or two small ones left in there. Well, let's uh, see what we've got here. There's any scales. Set the scale to zero. Set it to zero. Set them to pounds. Attach the hook. Lift them up. Well, that didn't work, did it? Turn them off. Set them to... Right, they're set to pounds now. Uh, just tilt the camera up a touch. I can. Don't know if you can see the scales there. Six, six free, call it. We have in that six free guys, or thereabouts. So that's my worst um, of the cell poles. Um, six free. That's uh, the best weight was. Uh, £16 this year, them cell palmeras. So I think um, next year we're going to be doing all the different varieties of cell palmera. Uh, spin the camera around so you can see me ugly mush. Yeah, so yeah, that brings these uh, potatoes to the final close. We've got three more um, spuds in the greenhouse, uh, the winter spuds. And they're doing all right. They're just starting to come to the top of the buckets now. So 
who knows we might get some spuds for Christmas but um, yeah as you just seen there there's two two um, bags there I think it was about I can't remember what the uh, the King Edwards were but uh, the South Poles are six pounds so six six three it's not too bad it's better than a kick in the teeth anyhow guys so I'm just going to tidy up here and uh, we'll put obviously we're going to put this in with another a video I'm just going to prepare this bed now and um, put a load of blood fish and bone in I'm not going to cover it up with a net just yet because I know the, the, the foxes and everything could be rocking and rolling I love to get a picture of them rocking and rolling inside it uh, the cats love it as well so so what I'm going to do clear up um, add all the, the goodies to the soil and we're going to leave this bed for a week and then we're going to start putting the cabbages in, in this bed along with a few more um, garlic so uh, be right back thanks for watching well guys there's the potato I might add all my potatoes in the buckets now this ground hasn't had anything in it this year's because I've had the potatoes in it. Okay, there was a few collies here, but it was all taken over. So all that there is fresh ground. There's loads of nutrients, so I just put a load of blood, fish and bone and what have you in. I've left the top off because, um, well, the cats and the foxes will be along shortly. In fact, you can see where the cats walk down the side there. And when they get the foxes, they'll turn it all over. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they do the, uh, the, the hoeing for me. Nah, I've just left it off for, for now. I'm going to put um, another one of these nets over the top of it in the next day or two. There's no need to worry about it at the moment. But yeah, we're getting all the cabbages and collies are going in here. This bed here, like you've just seen the, the, the clip, uh, the garlic just gone in. We've already got that, that garlic there. It's already four or five inches high and that's two weeks, guys. Two weeks. Don't have to listen to me, um, but... When I say Chittenham is the way to go, it really is. And do you remember that one? What I was telling you about? It's not. It's not come up. There was one. Um, what was very behind all the others? Well, there it is. It's up. So every single one has come up. So there you go. Who gets hundred percent germination? Not many people. And there is hundred percent there. So I'm well chuffed with that. Now we've got to hope and pray we get 100% air as well because we don't want a, a space in the in the bed. <laughs> That's the uh, asparagus kicking in. Um, the celery, well, that's I, I could do with um, put banking it up a bit. Um, I was going to put it in some tubes, but, uh, you know, it's one of them things where you've got a million and one things to do and you forget to do it. And uh, I should have done it and... It doesn't matter. We we, we put all these in our, in the soups. Um, it's in fact I do a mean um, P and M soup. Well, when I say P and M, uh, it consists of uh, barley, um, onions, uh, celery, potatoes, peas, uh, lentils. Um, I did say barley, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, what else is something else I'm missing out of it? Um, potatoes. Salt and pepper. Oh, cab uh, cabbage. Yeah, we put cabbage in as well, and most important, an am shank. And now I've talked about it. Now I'm going to go home and make it because I'm absolutely starved. I just shouldn't, shouldn't have said that. Should I? I've got all the ingredients at home to make it. I'm going to throw it up and uh, have some for tea. And when all the family gets to hear about it, I'll have none left for supper because they love it, every one of them loves it. Um, this bed here is absolutely chock-a-block with um, brown, yellow and white skin onions. Uh, the white onions haven't started yet. I've just noticed one there now, just starting. Now the, the white onions are always they're notorious for being the last to, you put them in and they're the last to come up. They're, Bloody nightmare, try to get them all to come up at the same time. But as you can see, these onions here, uh, they're starting to, to push through now. They'll be all up in about, i say in about two weeks, um, they'll be like these ones over there about this high. And again, these onions are already up. Um, 
the shallots not so much but I'm going to put another two rows of shallots in here where I've took these um, these savoy cabbage out so that's what something else I've got to get now uh, yeah it's looking pretty good along the back here now it's all tidied up that's the main thing you can only do one thing properly you can do a whole host of things and not do and not do a good job but if you do one thing properly then it saves you in the long run basically um, reason why I'm walking back up here because I don't want to cast my shadow on the video that's that's the only reason these are uh, carrots Oof, there's three rows of carrots are there and two rows of parsnips I haven't lifted the lid up off the box in two months and I can't lift it up because as soon as I do they all flop out and it was an absolute nightmare trying to get them all back in but then parsnips I pushed the top of the um, the frame up so obviously next year I'm going to have to make uh, some of these bigger frames um, so the parsnips ain't pushing the um, the sheets up but hey ho it doesn't really matter they're doing absolutely wonderful in there this bed's all been cleared out now the the bra beans I'll be put start the bra beans off next um, next week in fact, I might put them in tomorrow. I'll show you me doing them. We took all the radish out now. They've all gone. Chickens loved them. And I loved the... Well, the chickens loved the uh, the leaves. And I loved the radish. It was a fair deal. There my girls there. Eh? I just threw in one of them Savoy cabbages in there. And they've made short work of it. The missus says, don't throw the kale away. We're go we, we can still eat that. So the kale's still there. And as is some of these um, cabbages, I'm just going to, the ones that we don't use, I'll throw to chickens. So it's a win-win situation for us, or the chickens, really. There, me girls. Wow. There was a pile of um, cabbage in there before, and they've absolutely annihilated it. Don't know where they all are. I think they're hiding in this corner. Yeah, they are. They're all in the corner around here, underneath this blue thing, getting out the sun. There's the roof. See how it's all tightened up now? It was all wrinkly. Um, like, ooh, about about four or five weeks ago. And the sun's baked it now. And it's actually shrunk the um, plastic onto the uh, wood. So that, that roof now is looking good. I've still got a couple more panels on the other side yet to do. I'll show you that when I've done it. But there you go, guys. That's the back part of the plot looking really, really well. Um, like I say, you can only do one thing and do it right. You do a whole host of things and it, it just, you, you know, you know where you're just going backwards and forwards. So I've concentrated on the back part of the plot. Once I put the, sorted the bra beans and the, the cabbages out in and I can forget about all this, this until um, the start of next year and we can concentrate on the, the front part of the plot. Yeah, I think the girls, there's a few of them in, in the uh, nest box laying. And now we're going to leave you with that picture of the, the chickens and we'll go back up to the front part of the plot and uh, we'll tell you a few other things, what we're, we're getting up to. Be right back, folks. Well, there you go, YouTubers. Um, the back part of the plot is all tidied up and cleaned up. Um, they managed to get another load of garlic in there all solent white that's a full bed of solent white there's 253 um, garlics in there and 153 of them are already five between four and five inches high and that's not bad for two weeks that um, the others lot will come up in another two weeks so it's like a succession we have been putting some Marco in there and, and me, me mate um, not actually the the chairman's got some garlic there he's going to give us. I forget the name, he said it, what it was. It was a soft neck garlic. Uh, I did remember that. Um, but he's going to drop me some off and I'm going to try that as well. Um, we have not been able to get hold of the jumbo garlic. Um, bit of a fiasco, to be quite honest with you. Looking for it. I uh, can't believe we... <laughs> we the, the missus mistakenly um, used the seed garlic to do a stir fry <laughs> so um, like I said I'm still looking for some jumbo garlic 
However, um, these three of the four beds on the, the left hand side as you're looking down the plot at the back, um, it's, and I've now got I, I taken up with um, some red, yellow, brown, and white onions, uh, shallots. Um, there's also all them garlic and there's um, some celery and then you've got the end bed um, which has just been cleared of all the potatoes so you've just seen them two potato reveals there not very good but I've been looking at all everybody else's YouTube videos on the potatoes in buckets and you're talking like three and a half pound four pound so three and a half pound wasn't too bad with the King Edwards and you got to remember I did take the tops off them because of the blight and the Sal Palmeira, that's the worst bucket of Sal Palmeiras I've had. That was come to about six and a half pound. My best weight so far, well, best weight this year was like 16 pound of them Sal Palmeiras. Absolutely fantastic chipping potato. We've had some fantastic chips with them, I can tell you. Um, so anyhow, we, we, we've just done them. We've cleared the bed up now. It's all been cleared up. Um, I was going to take the... The black kale out and the the cabbages which are on the opposite side well as you saw um in the the last clip there i've left them in because the missus says don't chuck them away because we can still eat the kale and uh it'd be a shame to waste it we uh took all the the beetroots and the sabruga um shallots out of uh, the 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 raised bed in front of the chickens and we also took out the radish as well chickens had all the leaves and I had all the radish and they're all at home in the in the fridge and I just keep going past them taking one or two of them and shove them in my face they're very peppery as well um, which I, I like uh, as you saw the chickens there um, doing okay getting between seven and eight eggs again. Um, I think it was that cold snap what um, stopped them laying for a couple of days. Uh, I couldn't see anything else um, to blame really because the bat laying again, quite normal. Um, I, I, I hope you noticed the roof, like I was saying there, the, the, the sun has actually pulled the plastic tight now to the, um, to the plywood. Now that's exterior ply, so if it gets wet, it won't rot as much. I mean, all wood rots, but it won't rot as much. But that's put a uh, protective skin across the top of it. I've got two more to do on the other side. Now, a couple more panels to put in, and then uh, that's all taken care of then. So the back part of the plot's looking good. So in the next update, you're going to see me um, planting the cabbages and collies. And we're going to start doing the broad beans. Now I've got the toilet rolls and everything to so rock and roll with the broad beans. And um, it's that time of year now that you start, I, I start my broad beans off. Um, over winter and over Christmas. They do perfectly well in the ground. And that's what I'm going to be doing um, in the next episode. Um, just one more thing. I was uh, looking at the, my previous video of where I've got all the um, seeds on um, a board. And I said there was 24, well I've looked at the video and there ain't 24, there's 28 packs of seeds there. So, me being who I am, I did say, um, I split them up into two. And half will go to one winner and half will go to another. Now, half, I calculate at 14, so the, the prize has gone up from 12 to 14 packs of seeds and all flowers. And they're all between 2017, 2018. So, you know, you've got plenty of time to put them in. And, um, yep, some lovely flowers there. I've just split them up into, into in half. So you've got 14 of it, 14. There's none of them are the same. So, you know, and um, we've got another, I think we've got another week to run on that. So uh, good luck, everybody. And I've got to emphasise, um, only... My um, subscribers um, can actually win this uh, these, this competition. Now, the easiest way around that is to is it in the right hand corner? Somewhere in one of these corners here. I always get mixed up. You see, because on the left on on, on here is the right when you're looking at the screen. So I think it's on the 
right hand side so there should be a little chick in here from right if I'm wrong it's the opposite side obviously but if you click on that you can actually subscribe to the channel um, if you want to no no forcing you to do anything you don't want to do but um, you know leave a little comment on the on the video uh, not on this thread you've got to do it on the, um, the the actual competition one which was the last video I did so I'll find that one and um, go and give it a go there's another week to enter guys uh, I think there's already about 70 80 um, people who have comments there so there's that potential that's how many people um, has got a chance of winning and I said there's two prizes for two different winners I emphasize two different winners you can't I mean if it comes up to the same Joe Bloggs twice well Joe Bloggs doesn't get it twice he gets it once and then Mrs Bloggs gets it if uh, she comes up after that so you know it's like so it's fair so there's two two prizes for two different um, YouTube channels out there well, there we go that was the uh, the update um, the the helicopter probably buggered off back to airport now to f refuel which has given me a few minutes um, of peace and quiet on the allotments however the the clouds just moved up over the top of the sun it was absolutely gorgeous here about 10 minutes ago and uh, it's just got a bit it's got slightly darker um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to go and buy some corks and a corker to, to sort this wine out. Um, I've been doing a few clips, so I've got to sort them all out, how I made my wine. I've been doing it over the last, what, five, six weeks. Uh, last night I was whisking the, the, the I, I drained the, the wine into another vat and then I whisked it up with some condon, condon tablets. Uh, to kill all the yeast uh, I'm leaving it now for another week and a half, two weeks but I need some corks and a cork and I've already bought them I just can't find where I put the buggers because we've been doing the kitchen and what have you um, I had brand new kitchen sorted and, and the cooker and you name it I've just had to buy all, all brand new and I put these goddamn things down somewhere and I can't find them so I'm going to go nip to the shop now and buy some more corks and a corker I've even got labels, guys, for the bottles. How sad's that? It's called Max Allotments Red Wine, something or other. I can't remember what I've put there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I think there's going to be about 20 bottles of it when I, when I've finished. I did 20 20 liters of the stuff. Now I just I went to the shop this um, and bought like 12 liters, 12, 12 bottles, and only like seven and a half. 750 milli so I'm going to have to go and buy another 12 because I do the maths and um, yeah, I, I'm going to need about 20 22 bottles to to get all this uh, wine in uh, so yeah then we're going to get the little piggies and we're going to have a test and uh, that should be fun that'll be coming up in a couple of episodes uh. so um, like I said I'm going to leave it if leave it there now i hope you like the the, vi the video um if you like the channel and you want to subscribe by all means do so the top corner up over up here or there there's actually a link to a, a website of mine a allotment website and there's also a fishing website but don't get confused between the two but it's not very really hard thing to do uh, but there's, there's two links there in the top um i've not been doing anything with the allot uh, with the allotment uh, website at the moment because got a lot of things going on in my life but we'll, we'll launch it properly very shortly but it's there for everyone to see and subscribe if you want to subscribe you can go and subscribe to it right waffled long and hard and long enough so from waste allotments that's my